गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द अर्लियर वीडियो ऑफ लेसन नंबर टेन ग्रेविटेशन वी डिस्कस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आंसर ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट इज यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन जस्ट रिवाइज इट वन मोर टाइम मूव फर्दर होप ऑल माई डेव गॉट दर टेस्ट बुक्स मूविंग ऑन फर्दर यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो थ्रू इट्स स्टेटमेंट एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स अट्रैक्ट अदर ऑब्जेक्ट the force of attraction between the two objects is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them the direction of this force is along the line joining the centers of the objects i repeat every object of the universe attracts other object this force of attraction between the two objects is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them the direction of this force is along the line joining the centers of the object i think so you might have got your test book so you can observe the diagram which is given in your test book the center of the first body is taken as c1 center of the second body is taken as c2 now let the two objects of mass m1 and m2 are lying at a distance r from each other now according to the law of gravitation these objects attract each other the gravitational force is along the direction joining the centers c1 and c2 of the two objects which you can observe in the diagram which is given in your test book f12 is the force acting on object 2 due to object 1 that is from c1 to c2 f21 is a force acting on object 1 due to object 2 from c2 to c1 the magnitude of gravitational force acting between two objects is f12 is equal to f21 that is equal to f now according to universal law of gravitation if you take the first half of the statement that is the force of attraction between the two object is proportional to the product of their masses that is f is proportional to m1 m2 give it equation number 1 second half it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that is f is proportional to 1 upon r square give it equation number 2 now f is proportional to m1 m2 upon 1 into 1 upon r square that implies f is proportional to m1 m2 upon r square give it equation number 3 now in order to remove the proportionality sign we multiply it with a non zero constant that is f is equal to capital g m1 m2 upon r square give it equation number 4 now g is the constant of proportionality at any place in the universe and at any time the value of g is found to be constant for any two bodies g is called the universal constant of proportionality or universal constant of gravitation from the equation 4 we can derive the formula for capital g that is fr square upon m1 m2 that is unit of capital g is newton meter square per kg square the value of g is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square this value was calculated by henry cavendish so moving on further to our next topic of this chapter that is free fall so what do you mean by free fall when an object is released freely from a certain height without applying any external force it moves downwards under the effect of gravitational force hence the motion of the body or the object is said to be free fall one more time what is free fall of a body when an object is released 
that is freely from a certain height without applying any external force it moves downwards under the effect of gravitational force hence the motion of the object or the body is said to be a free fall the free falling object is at rest initially so its initial velocity is zero when the object is released it undergoes an accelerated motion under the effect of gravitational force so as you know when the body is to be released from a height initially the body is at rest so its initial velocity is taken as zero now when it is released it is undergoing an accelerated motion under the effect of gravitation force moving on further acceleration due to gravity the mass of the earth is me and its radius is re then the gravitational force acting on the body of mass m lying at a distance r where small r is greater than equal to re from the center of gravity of the earth is capital f equal to g small m me upon r square due to equation number 1 now according to newton's second law of motion f is equal to ma give the equation number 2 here acceleration produced in the body is due to gravitational force of the earth so it is known as acceleration due to gravity it is denoted by small g so the equation 2 changes from f equal to ma as f equal to mg give it equation number 3 Now, comparing equation one and three, we get mg equal to g capital G m m e upon r square. Taking out m small m common on both the side, we get the fourth equation as small g equal to capital G m e upon r e square. Why we are taken instead of small r r e? Because the body is lying. on or near the surface of the earth so instead of small r we will be taking r e so we get the general equation small g equal to g m e upon r e square one more time we will take it acceleration due to gravity the mass of the earth is m e and its radius is r e then the gravitational force acting on the body of mass m lying at a distance r where small r is greater than equal to r e from the center of the gravity of the earth is capital f equal to capital g small m m e upon r square due to equation number 1 according to newton's second law of motion f is equal to m e due to equation number 2 here acceleration produced in the body is due to the gravitational force of the earth which is known as acceleration due to gravity it is denoted by small g so our equation is f equal to mg give equation number 3 comparing equation 1 and 3 mg equal to capital g small m m e upon r square where mm M gets cancel so you get g equal to capital g m e upon r e square here instead of r we are taken r e why because the body is lying on or near the surface of the earth now how to calculate the value of small g moving on further to calculate the value of small g we will take the general form of the particular equation obtained in acceleration due to gravity that is small g equal to capital g m e upon r e square here capital g its value is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square mass of the earth is symbolized by me that is 5.976 into 10 raised to 24 which is taken approximately as 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg re it is the equatorial radius of the earth which is 6.378 into 10 raised to 6 meter approximately 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter now apl applying the values of the following 
symbols in the formula small g equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to 24 upon 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square we get the value of small g approximately equal to 9.8 meter per second square this shows that the value of g on the earth surface does not depend on the mass of the object the value of the small g is different on different planets and their satellites one more time in order to calculate the value of small g the equation is small g equal to gme upon re square capital g the value is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square mass of the earth is 5.976 into 10 raised to 24 kg which is taken as approximately 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg re that is equatorial radius of the earth which is 6.378 into 10 raised to 6 meter which is taken as 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter substituting the magnitudes of the following symbols in g we get g approximately equal to 9.8 meter per second square this shows that the value of small g on the earth's surface does not depend on the mass of the earth the value of small g is different on different planets and their satellites hope all might have understood